And we are two and a big blinds deep, three-handed. And it looks like three regulars. So now we have a question of do we want to flat or do we want to uh, five-bet to this four-bet? Um, so taking a look at Alwyn's notes, we have, he says, at 46 minutes uh, with the Aces preflop, we're three-handed, decided to try to get it in. Uh, preflop out of position. I think out of position, three-handed has a better chance of getting it in. I can face some nasty post-flop spots out of position if I choose to call. Um, I disagree with that last statement that he can face some nasty spots uh, out of position if I choose to call. Because once we call, there's going to be like 50 uh, big blinds in the pot and we're going to have maybe... 180 left, whatever. Um, it's not going to become unreasonable that if things start getting scary that we can either fold or shove, um, especially after basically make our decisions on some flops and some uh, situations where he might feel like we're trying to make some moves by flatting, and if the scarier the flop, um, the more likely he is to stack off lighter. Um, so I don't think that we're too worried about being out of position against a guy who has probably a fairly polarized range here when he's four betting, because it looks like from earlier hands that we've had, he looks fairly call happy to three bets. Um, I know he called flat a three bet to us and then check folded fairly quickly on a ten eight six rainbow um, hand in the bottom right table. I believe it was in the first part, but I'm not sure. I didn't record that one today, so um, I would probably flat here because I don't think he's four betting queens 200 big blinds deep to get it in um I think he'd prob or like ace queen or um and we obviously block ace king and ace queen um and I don't think he's doing this with jacks really so I think this type of player would definitely because of that go to like slow play some of his bigger hands so I think he's gonna be very very airy here and I would definitely uh like a raise to maybe like I think that raise is too big regardless. Um, I would like a raise to like maybe 480, 465, something like that, uh, with a really airy part of our range, especially if we had like um, an ace-x blocker, because I think he's way more likely to get like ace-king suited in here rather than uh, pocket queens. Um, and I just feel like people in general are more apt to do that in terms of a preflop scenario. Uh, so I think I, I would definitely air for flatting here. Um, I definitely see the logic behind, well, we're out of position. It sucks when you're out of position at steep. But you can't be so scared that you give up value with aces um, in that situation. Um, and that 580, now it looks like we're definitely up against a hand, and that's obviously a great spot for us. Um, I think the 580 is just too big regardless, because it looks like, wow, so, I did not see that coming. Uh, wow, let me do some math on that. Alright, so that seems fairly bad to me. Um, I mean, especially against Allwind here, because yeah, we haven't shown getting preflop in real, real light, but we have shown down tens twice, we're 200 big blinds deep, and I don't think it's out of the realm possibility at all that Allwind is capable of shoving fairly light here, and then 5-betting for value light, um, etc., and then calling it off, and once you make a 9-15 being like, well, screw it, I call it, I'm all in. Uh, so that seems like a huge amount of your stack to risk. Um, I was having actually a little trouble pulling up Poker Stove, and actually doing it on the fly. So I am going to uh, definitely maybe even post that or leave that up to discussion about what type of risk-reward that is. I mean, that seems really, really bad. Um, but who knows? I could be proven wrong, and people that might become the new thing to do. It might be six-bet bluffing um, half your, or I guess, 40% of your effective stack, 45%. So... Uh, that seems really bad, though.